I am very, very excited to be your host for the 2009 Walmart shareholders meeting. We got rid of the smogs just to signal that there was change. And same thing with the logo. Yes, there is fundamental market research that says that the logo was not soft, that women didn't like it. I'm just curious, when you came into this office as CEO not very long ago, what, what went through your head? I despise Walmart because I've seen what it's done to so many communities. They're starving down here. We need a store like Walmart to bring in jobs. This is where the suppliers from all over the world come, present their products to Walmart. Walmart is asking its suppliers, 100,000 of them around the world, to develop a universal rating system clearly visible on every item sold on its shelves. If you've ever wondered how Walmart decides where to build a store, sit in on a ride as we did with one of the teams that secretly traversed the country and the world looking for new places to plant its flag. So as you get closer to the river, incomes drop. Incomes drop and it gets a little denser as well. The reason I wanted to spend time in China is because it's such a big and important market for us in the future. More than 7 million Chinese customers a week shop at Walmart. McMillan believes China's store count could one day exceed the 4,200 locations in the U.S. We want to make sure the workers that you see in the backdrop here, you know, they're being treated correctly. And, you know, that's important to us, you know, because it's the right thing to do. Free choice! Now! Thousands of businesses are opposed to the Employee Free Choice Act, and Walmart would be opposed also. This business model that's that unyielding resolve puts Walmart's management squarely at odds with an energized group of pro union activists who've been galvanized by the prospect of EFCA becoming law. We're asking the public, if you don't mind, you know, just put your signature on that, okay. that you would support Walmart workers joining the union. These workers seem much more emboldened than they have been in the past, and they're they're ready to do what they need to do. No justice, no peace, no justice.